Located in D.C., Vicki Russell Walton hosts Pinky Parties, also known as purposely involved in keeping individuals educated, that make it easier and comfortable for women to get a free screening for breast cancer. The focus is the mammogram, but also for women to come together to see they're not by themselves. So while you're here, we're going to celebrate you with a party. Pinky Parties provide child care, games, prizes, food, have vendors present that do genetic testing, and beauty. One specific vendor provided information on the BRCA gene, which is where the mutation occurs that causes breast cancer and ovarian cancer. Seven out of ten of those women will develop breast cancer, so it's extremely important uh, for women of color to be tested, and um, historically we have not had access to this type of testing. Pinky parties are events not only for women diagnosed with breast cancer, but survivors like Debbie Andrews, who was diagnosed in December 2012 with stage 1 cancer, but never got sick. That's why I come to these events to encourage others to show them that when you walk in faith, anything is possible. Pinky parties create a casual atmosphere for women to get their first or annual screening just by going upstairs. It was really helpful. I, I appreciate everything that, you know, that was going on today, and I, I, I like the people and everything, and it was nice. Walton used her own life experience of being misdiagnosed four times and given just months to live in order to create an organization that could assist women. So that's what made me create the Pinky Party, where women can come together and kind of love on themselves, educate themselves, and then just understand that cancer is not a death sentence. You can live. Breast cancer is an issue for women of all races. Pinky Parties are just one of the ways to bring awareness on the importance of women's health. For News Vision, I'm Brookie Madison.